Now let's count up in halves, thirds and quarters. So there's our half fraction bar, but let's count beyond one. So if we put one, two, three, four half fraction bars together, we can practice counting in halves. So that's one half. Now we have two halves, which we can write as two over two. And because we have both halves of this fraction bar shaded, we can say that we have one whole fraction bar shaded. Now, if we keep going, we now have three halves shaded. So we can write that as three over two. This is called an improper fraction because we have a larger numerator than denominator. But it still makes sense because each part is split into two or split into half and we have three of those halves. Now we can also write this as a mixed number. That's one and a half, because we have one whole fraction bar shaded and half of another one shaded as well. Now if we keep going, here we've got four halves, so that's four over two. And we have one, two whole fraction bars shaded. Now notice, 4 divided by 2 is 2. But let's keep going, we'll come back to that in a moment. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 halves, so that's 5 over 2, as an improper fraction, but as a mixed number, that's 2 and a half, because you can see we have 1, 2 whole fraction bars shaded, and 1 half of another one. Now notice 5 divided by 2 is 2 remainder 1, so you can spot the pattern. Also notice that if you multiply the whole number of the mixed number by the denominator, 2 times 2 is 4, but then if you add the numerator, so 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1, you get 5, which is the numerator of the improper fraction. Now if we add another half, we have six halves shaded, and that's the same as having three holes shaded, because six divided by two is three, and we can see that we have three whole fraction bars shaded. Now, we have seven halves, which is three and a half, and if we keep going, we now have eight halves shaded, which is the same as having four whole fraction bars shaded, because eight divided by two is four. So we're probably spotting some patterns here, but now let's practice counting up in thirds. So we need our thirds fraction bar, and let's again put four fraction bars next to each other. So we have one third, two thirds, and if we add another third, we have three thirds. Now having three thirds is the same as having one whole fraction bar shaded. So if the numerator and the denominator are the same, you always have one whole. But we can keep going. Now we have four thirds, and as a mixed number, that's one and one third. Notice that four divided by three is one remainder one. If we keep going, we now have five thirds, which is one and two thirds, because five divided by three is one remainder two. Or to change a mixed number to an improper fraction, here's what we can do. We can multiply the whole number by the denominator and then add the numerator. So one times three is three, plus two is five, and that's the numerator of our improper fraction. Now we have six thirds, and we can see that we have two whole fraction bars shaded. And that makes sense, because six divided by three is two. Now, seven thirds, or two and a third. Eight thirds, or two and two thirds. And nine thirds is the same as three wholes, because nine divided by three is three, and you can see that we now have three whole fraction bars shaded. If we keep going, we have 10 thirds, which is three and one third. Again, spot 10 divided by three 
is 3 remained a 1, so that's 3 and 1 third. The denominators are always the same. Now 11 thirds is 3 and 2 thirds, and that makes sense because if we're changing the mixed number to an improper fraction, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11, so 11 is our numerator of the improper fraction. And if we add another third, we have 12 thirds altogether, so again we have 4 whole fraction bars shaded, because 12 divided by 3 is 4. So now, let's count up in quarters. We need our quarter fraction bar, and again, let's put four of them next to each other. We have one quarter, two quarters, which we can see is the same as one half, three quarters, and then four quarters is the same as one, because four divided by four is one, and if we have the same number in the numerator and the denominator, we always have one whole, because our whole fraction bar's been split into four, but because we've got all four of those pieces shaded, we've got one whole fraction bar shaded. But we can keep going. Now we have five quarters, which is the same as one and one quarter. Then six quarters, or one and two quarters. Seven quarters is the same as one and three quarters, so remember, seven quarters is our improper fraction, and one and three quarters is a mixed number, but they're both different ways of showing the same thing, different ways of showing what we have here. Now, if we keep going, we have eight quarters, which is the same as two, and notice eight divided by four is two. Now, nine quarters, so, as a mixed number, that's two and one quarter, because nine divided by four is two remained a one. Or, going from the mixed number to the improper fraction, two times four is eight, plus one is nine. So nine is the numerator of our improper fraction, and the denominator stays the same. So now, 10 quarters, or two and two quarters, 11 quarters, or 2 and 3 quarters, 12 quarters, or 3, 13 quarters, or 3 and 1 quarter, 14 quarters, or 3 and 2 quarters, 15 quarters, or 3 and 3 quarters, and 16 quarters means we've got 4 whole fraction bars shaded because 16 divided by 4 is 4. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe, or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.